All right, everyone, this is an all signs reading. Doesn't matter what your sign is, it is for the Sagittarius new moon. It's, it's, it seems strange to say it's a fiery new moon. It's, it, it has a lot of forward action to it. It has a lot of action attached to it. But what makes it very interesting is it's right around the 12-12 portal here, okay? It's right on top of it, in fact. And it, it, well, the easiest way I could describe it is it allows us to change our order. Imagine you're sitting at a restaurant and you've placed your order. It's, it's, they don't usually like it when 20 minutes has gone by and they're just about to bring you your food and then you decide to change your order. This time around, you can do that. It's, it's, so keep putting your intentions out there. I'll tell you guys that. Keep putting your intentions out there. You can change what you put out there. You have the option right now to change your order, move in a completely new direction. We we're all just finishing up a realignment of energy. So it's logical that that would be the case anyway. That being said, that's kind of what's going on here. So I asked the universe what actions the incoming energy going to take during this new moon. And I got a very interesting pre-shuffle here. And we're going to have a very interesting reading, I think. Uh, it's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. But if the title brought you in here or you found Steve Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. This reading is timeless. You're all moving at different speeds on your timeline. This energy rides the rest of the 12-12 portal energy right up which generally that energy will last somewhere right around Christmas time, maybe a little after it, you know, that kind of time frame. Uh, okay. This energy, obviously the new moon, a couple of weeks, you know. But what do I get here? I get justice right, crossed by the hangman. Oh, something else would make me happy. Somebody here, three swords, Kurt Cobain and Payne, somebody here, the Burger King, Right? Feeling this connection, the lovers bookending the justice card here. Somebody here is changing their mind, changing their order, not necessarily liking this, thinking that maybe their original plan, even if they were planning to come towards you, lands them in this. So somebody's revamping things a bit. Somebody's taking forward action under this moon based on a new perspective. Okay, a new perspective on what might make them happy. And that perspective has a lot more to do with nine cups and the energy of the connection. They're making a better choice. Okay, and when we change our order, we think we're making a better choice. We made a bad choice before. Now, this one, oh, this one will make me happy. So, can, can I change my order? And the answer from the universe is yes, you can. So, you know, if you put something out there, and you think, well, that's not necessarily what I want. Now's your time under this new moon to go ahead and put in a new order, right? Kind of a thing. Or, or embellish, revamp your vision for your future, all right? And that's exactly what's happening there in the surface energy on the pre-shuffle with a, a Burger King energy. Somebody acting a little less out of ego and a little more out of emotion than maybe they originally were up to this point. We'll see. Let's shuffle the deck. This first card out's before the cut. It's why the fuck are we here? So let's just see where this takes us. Should be an interesting ride. I'm telling you. Okay, let's see where we go here. Let's, okay. We're done shuffling. The King of Pentacles. Uh, this is an energy of someone who knows what they want. This is a king who has his shit together. Okay? So I've got an energy here of someone who knows what they want. They're confident in what they want. That's that's the energy that's coming off of it. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see what comes after the cut. <laughs> I laugh. It's the seven of wands. Yeah. 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 Uh, again, um, this can play out. Now, I don't want to paint roses and rainbows here. We got an energy here of somebody who knows what they want. They're, they're, and, it's, and they're changing their order. They might see coming toward you as three swords. And the pre-shuffle told us that. So for some of you, not all of you, somebody here is deciding that, no, what I've got leaves me on the high ground. For others of you, somebody is changing their order and they're standing up and fighting for something that they know would make them happy. It cuts both ways. There's more than one person watching. There's thousands of people watching, okay? Uh, only you know which side you're on. But we'll see, I'm gonna have, I'm in my final shuffle here, because there's two energies there, I'm gonna have the universe pull on the majority, 
All right, and we'll see we'll see where we go. All right, good or bad, we'll see where we go. We always do that here. I like to try to give you the truth, not, you know, glaze over it. I could glaze over that energy very easily and say somebody coming towards you, they know that you're what they want and they're definite in that decision. And that is the case for some of them. For others of them, they've got themselves convinced under this energy. No, 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 I know I said I wanted the Empress, but I think I like where I am. Okay, I think that's good. I think we're just going to keep it there. Can I have the check, please? You know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Let's give the deck a final shuffle. Give me the soulmate cycle with the influence of the new moon in Sagittarius. And it is, there's a lot of fire here. A lot of it. This is this is a new adventures kind of thing. This is, wow, it's really strong energy. Let's see, for a new moon, really strong. Feels like almost an eclipse, but there isn't one. You know, it feels like that. Really strong energy. Let's go. I'm still shuffling. Jesus, come on. Come on, universe. Let's go. Give me a reading here. Give me a reading. Okay, the overall energy. That's it. Won't let me shuffle no more. Of everything that's going to fall on the table is the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody feels like... they. It says the same thing the King of Pentacles said. Somebody feels like they're all set. This queen, this is not your energy attached to this. This is just talking about the incoming energy. I mean, this is, obviously, this is probably you. You may feel like you're all set. Somebody feels like they got everything they need where they're at. Okay? What's view on this? The Ten of Pentacles. Proof of what I just said. Somebody feels like they got everything they need where they're at. And again, this can also be read. This energy, this frequency could also be read. I'm just being honest. It's somebody feels like you got everything they need and they come to get it. It cuts both ways. It's just going to cut both ways. I'm asking the universe to pull on the majority. That's the overall energy. It backs up the cut cards. In fact, this Queen of Pentacles crosses the King of Pentacles. Okay? So, in my reading. Right here's the energy around your connection. Right here's how they're behaving in the 3D. Right here's their soul. There's the hidden energy message from the universe. Red with the energy of your connection. And right here's the potential final outcome. I say potential because I cannot predict free will. I will clarify everything and throw some universe cards at the end. We'll probably end up extending it. If so, there's a link in the description. I just want to see where this is going here. I got a double energy. All right. Energy around your connection. Four of Wands. Yeah. The path is lit. You know, the energy around your connection, the path is wide open. There's a sign at the end of a, at, at the, imagine them at a crossroads, because that's kind of where we're at with this, with two energies here. There's, there's a sign on one that says, do not enter. And there's a sign at the other road that says, go down here. And if you go down here, you get your ten pentacles. Your connection is the better choice. They know that. Okay? They know that. It's a powerful connection, too, with the four of wands here. And that's interesting because that always leads to that. If it's proper and upright, which that is. How are they behaving in the 3D? The tower. Yeah. Um, it's, a, it's a mental breakdown. I, w I was going to say emotional, but it's generally emotional if it falls in the soul position. It's, it's somebody here... It's almost, imagine you were this squirrel, the way I'll describe this energy. And you were just enjoying a picnic under, eating some nuts underneath this tree. Lightning comes in very quickly. You may not know what to do right away. You might just freeze, right? Like that. You know, imagine you're under a tree, lightning strikes it. You hear an explosion above your head. The tree is starting to fall. That's kind of the energy that's here. It's a bit of a mental breakdown at this, you know, because the light is shining here. Go down this path. For some of you, this means that, that uh, they're making some big changes in their life. Okay, fine. You're going to be one of these readings. Okay. I hate these readings. Why? Not, not this type of reading. I don't mean I hate these readings. I hate this type of reading. So I, I've got to talk both angles. I'm asking the universe to be predictive here. All right, but it's not cooperating. The soul, and I don't have any power over that. The soul is here. Their soul is here. It bookends the four of wands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They know that your connection is the. It, they've they've had a, a transformation within the soul. Okay, it's a little. Their soul got reactivated when you guys cross paths. They've had some transformation here. They know exactly where to go. These two are read together. But it creates some kind of problem. It creates, it triggers them in some way going down this path towards you. 
So a lot of them have themselves convinced that I'm just going to stick with what I got. But then that also creates a tower. So you see it's sort of this push-pull kind of thing. Okay. Hidden energy, message from the universe, red with the four of wands. Two of Cups. Yeah, again, your connection is the one that makes sense. But why is this here? Uh, potential final outcome. Red with the Tower. Two of Wands. <sighs> They've made up their mind. Again, I get this energy of someone who has made up their mind. They've set the intention. But they're frozen here where they were. They want, they want to stay where they are and they want to go toward the connection. They want to have their cake and eat it too, but it's not working out. It creates a tower. Oh, for God's sake. Okay. All right. Let's clarify. Let's talk to the witches. Four of Wands. Why is it here? This should result in communication for some of you. For others of you, this son of a bitch won't leave the apartment here. Moving truck down on the ground. Everything packed. Will not move, will, will not, will not move from there. All right. And I think that ends badly for them. I think that, that, that eventually will reach an emotional breakdown. Why is the Four of Wands here? Why? Why is the Four of Wands here? Tell me about it. Okay. All right. The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, your connection changes everything. It, it, it's not, it changes their life in some way. It has changed their life in some way. It's turned things around. Now everything looks different in their world. Yeah, we get all that. That's all tied tied here for sure. My mic fell off. See, it knocked my mic right off me. Hold on a second. Well, I put that back. Okay. What's on top? Five swords. Why is the five swords here? The four of cups. They're trying to get out of coming towards you. They're trying to stick. With, most of them are trying to stick with what they've got and get out of coming towards you. I have to. I have to say that. But the problem is, once they make that decision, it creates a tower because it creates a massive amount of disappointment. For as powerful as the connection is, that's the level of disappointment on the opposite side of the coin when they when they decide to do that. So the net result is a stalemate of somebody just sitting there looking at you but staying where they're at. Looking at you. No, no, I'm fine here. You're, what do you mean you're fine there? It's an empty apartment with Christmas lights for lighting. It, it, one stick in the corner. No, 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 no. Why is the tower here? Let's talk about the tower. It's a big energy, the tower. Why is it here? Crossed by ten swords. Tens are the end and dead end that lead to a new beginning. Yeah. But the environmental energy is, again, somebody here who's just... It, there's this doom and gloom around this person. I'm not, I can't quite put my finger on it. What's on top? Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, again, it's it is. It's the same thing. The moment they decide not to go toward your connection, there's massive disappointment that sets in. And this person here, just again, with the Ten Pentacles, their, their whole world kind of falls apart when that happens. We do have death in the soul, which is again, a transformation energy. Huge transformation. Major arcana. Bigger than them. Why is the Ten Pentacles here? The Hierophant. Yeah. So there's some kind of marriage or some kind of long-term thing on their side that revolves around this Ten Pentacles, that they're just, that they know it's time to let go of, but they just won't let go. It's, it's what I said, this, this card is red with these, it's what I said here about the moving truck is down on the ground, it's all packed, everything's been moved out, they, she will not leave. They need a couple of big movers to come up and grab her dr and carry her down, and she'll stay in that position as they carry her, you know, kind of a thing, male or female, it's a she on the card. All right, let's talk about the death card. Uh -huh. One of these readings, is it? All right. Okay. Death card. Why is it here? This actually doesn't surprise me too much. It's crossed by the Nine of Pentacles. The inner, f I'll phrase it this way, okay? It's not exactly what's happening. 
but it's an easy way for everybody to understand. The inner free spirit that always lived in this person has broken free from the cage they normally lock it in. And that's why we have a tower here. This energy flows from here to here. That's why we have a tower. This long-term thing, it's long over. It's time to tear it down. They're, they're thinking about rebuilding it. That disappoints them down to the soul. It, it makes the soul, it's not really what's happening again. It's just a way of explaining it. It makes the soul very sad, okay? Gives them a stomach ache to think about keeping things the same. Yet at the same time, the brain's got them convinced that, well, you know, I'm all right where I am, you know, I suppose. No, 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 no. What's on top? The magician. Transformation. Yes, this card, I'm right. This checks my read on this card. It's transformation. They have transformed. Something, that inner free spirit inside of them with this liberation energy has broken free. It's, 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 it's free and it's just, it's messing them up in the 3D quite a bit. This is not going to be a fun new moon transit for some of these incoming energies here. Why is the magician here? The world. Yeah. I mean, it's just, they're operating under a new energy. It's the only way I could phrase it where it makes sense to anybody. They're operating under a completely new energy. And as a matter of fact, it's a very happy energy. It is. In its own way. It's, it's, a, it's a blue sky energy, I'll call it. It's a very auspicious card. It means really good. Um, it's, yeah, it's supposed to be a good thing. And somebody kind of taking a pee on it a little bit here, like our little arm cross guy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Universe says two cups. Energy is, the energy of your connection is balanced. And that's part of the reason we're having this problem. Somebody keeps knocking it back out. Mm -hmm. Knocking it out of balance. She will not leave. The moving truck down to go. Okay. Two of Cups. And underneath it all is this moon, which is a fiery energy. You really want new adventures. You want to go down new paths. You want that. You want what the realignment showed you. So that's where the Five Swords comes in. That's the self-sabotage aspect of what they're doing here. Alright, why is the Two of Cups here? Unreal. Unreal. Give me the Two of Cups. Why is it here? The Knight of Swords. Ah... Uh, it's a change energy again, more transformation, huge transformation. Um, they figured something out. Yeah, this, is, this is separate from the reading in a lot of ways. It is read with the energy of your connection. But when I look at this, I see somebody who figured something out. They've got something that they want to say to you, and it, it's about them. It's not about you or your connection. It's about something that they realize. Okay? Uh, what's all tough? of swords yeah uh, maybe they realize that they hurt you maybe they realize that that they hurt themselves uh, they want to talk about this pain that's what they want to talk about also this three of swords represents the energy your connection is balanced somebody keeps knocking it out of balance why is the three of swords here the page of swords um, they're not going to be able to continue from this energy forward, they're not going to be able to continue to operate the way they've been operating. In other words, if your person was just spying and, and dreaming, which can be just dreaming about you or thinking about you or looking at your picture or looking at your social media or, or any of that stuff, whatever they were doing, it, it's just causing more pain. The only thing that cures this is for the two energies to come together, for these two to come together. There's, and when they try to get out of it and stay where they're at and they, oh, everything's fine, this this, whatever this is, this long-term thing, it's way past its expiration date. It's dead, done, and over. In fact, it, the death card in the soul proves that. This person is, is changed. They've entered a new phase of their life. Keeping the old stuff isn't going gonna, isn't gonna to fly. You wouldn't move into a brand new shiny house and bring your old crappy furniture that you got from behind a dumpster with you, right? If you can afford the grand, brand new nice house, you can also budget a little bit of money for some decent furniture for it. You know, it's it's a bit of that. Speaking of furniture, this person's is down in the truck. Okay, so what the hell are you doing sitting there? Two of wands, final outcome. Um, it's a whole lot of planning and not a lot of doing. And the net result is a tower. I mean, that's one way to read the energy. Why is the two of wands here? I also think you're very intimidating to this person. What's intimidating to them, not, not just the power of the connection, and you can see the power in the car. Look at it. They got rainbows flying out of their fingertips. But they're intimidated by this Three of Swords. 
you know, uh, it, this is, it, you know, somebody's changing their order, yeah, but they're doing it in a way where they're almost chickening out kind of a thing. Uh, so, okay. She wanted to move. They called the movers. They moved all the stuff. Empty apartment, ready to go, and now she chicken it out. Well, I, I have memories here, you know, long term, ten of pentacles. I have memories here. Things were good once. Maybe they can be good again. Oh yeah, tell yourself that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. That's those words have been uttered by more remarried after divorce couples than anything else. You know, the divorce rate remains the same after that point, point. and sometimes it's a little higher. Some studies show it's a little higher. Yeah, okay. Why is the two of wands here? This person has gone round and round with whatever the long-term thing is on their side. They've rebooted it many times. Honeymoon phase, things go back to normal, fighting, breakup, honeymoon phase, things go big, big circle. Why is the two of wands here? Final outcome. What is it? We've made it this far. Yeah, it's just, she's just sitting there, two of swords, stalemate, crossroads, whatever you want to say. I already mentioned the crossroads earlier. I mentioned it around here. I said I visioned this card in my head when I was thinking of it. One one way has a sign that says "Do not enter," right, or "Do not continue." On the right side, on the on the other side, it's it's roses and rainbows. It's nice. Okay, so yeah, they're thinking about it. What's on top? The two of wands on top of the two of wands. It's it's a feedback loop, round and round. It's a stalemate feedback loop. I said already. The, the movers are going to have to come up and grab this person and bring them down. Two of Wands. They, we never leave the planning stage. When I see Two of Wands on top of Two of Wands, we never leave the planning stage. It's always planning, never doing. And this Two of Wands is read with this Ten of Pentacles in my reading. They've always, they've been wanting out of this long-term thing for a long time on their side. They've been wanting out of it for a long time. But it's always planning. It's always this. And it's always chickening out and chickening out and fall with a little page here and falling back on well maybe it's okay here maybe i shouldn't move maybe it's maybe i should have them bring this stuff back up you know maybe it'll get better it was good once always planning 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 this is the wrong energy to do that in because it's a fiery new moon energy on top of the 12 12 portal and what do you think happens a tower that's why the tower is there. We keep getting message after message telling us why that tower is there. Why is the two of wands here? The nine of pentacles. Why are they doing this now? Why is this happening now? This ties to the soul, the transformation in the soul. This was the card that was crossing in the soul. It's happening now because of what I said. The free spirit that always existed in this person's soul that they kept locked up in a cage has freed itself. It's flying around the house. All right, flying around the house. I remember uh, we had for a little while before we got Flam the parrot. We had a little Conyer parrot. It's a small parrot. Uh, she uh, she was from Mexico. A little small parrot, um, and uh, it got out of the cage once, and it could fly really good. This thing was amazing. It would shoot out of the bedroom we had it in, fly through the living room, fly into the kitchen, and then like you couldn't find it, it disappear. And if you waited a second, then it would book it out of the kitchen and fly back around the everywhere. We, we couldn't catch the thing. It took hours for us to catch the bird. Um, that's sort of what's going on here. Their, their free spirit is that bird. It's flown out and it's flying around and they can't catch it and put it back, which means it's kind of forcing their hand to maybe do something here. They, this is all just a, a mental breakdown. It's what I already said. Um, the universe seems to think if, I, if it was a betting universe, which it's not, and if I was a betting man, which I'm not, but if I was, I would bet that they're about to finally make a decision here at some point and liberate themselves. I'm going to pull this two more cards out just for shits and giggles. All right. See? The Fool and the Seven of Cups. Um, the free spirit being loose, we'll, we'll say the bird, the free spirit loose from the cage, just like us chasing that little parrot around the apartment back in those days, it was very confusing. Where'd he go? Where is he? Where he at? Right? It's very confusing. Uh, this person very confused by this free spirit energy that they that they try consciously try to keep locked up and have for a long time. You opened it up inside them. You opened up the soul. You lit the wick on this transformation. 
and they know that they're likely to make a choice here and take a chance take a leap of faith here at some point but right now under the initial new moon energy it's just two of wands on top of two of wands planning on top of planning on top of whatever and this and they've been planning to leave this they've been planning to come toward you it's why the readings this right here explains all by itself the two of swords the two of wands on top of the two of wands explains why the readings keep coming out the way they're coming out because all my readings are tied together they're always just round and round. Yeah, I need to leave this long-term thing. Yeah, I want to go toward the uh, connection. Yeah, I want to do that. Want to, but it's always just working out the plans. I think somebody here, because of this free spirit energy that's loose, doesn't really feel like they have a choice and they just kind of take a leap of faith. I think for you, they're making different choices, but I think the, co the communication might be a little bit confused. Might be a little bit confusing. So you want to come... Like, for just for example, so you want to come live with me, but you still got that apartment over there, but you want to come to me. So it's like they're, they're trying to have their cake. It's what I said, trying to have their cake and eat it too a little bit under this energy. And it's not going to fly. And that's why we have a tower here. It's a very fiery, it sounds weird to say, but it's a very fiery, action-oriented new moon. And somebody here still trying still still the self-sabotage king uh, or queen if you will all right let's see what else the universe wants to tell you what's funny about all this is i don't have a devil i've got a hierophant here yeah i've got that but i don't have a devil on the table i'm not even going to try and find it in the extended i don't care i know why i don't have a devil because this free spirit of this soul is opened up the soul is wide open it's shooting energy out of it i mean it's 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 like it's unreal it's how much energy is coming from their soul. It's just crazy. There's no way a devil could exist within it. It's all just exhaust from the soul. It's just, there's no way. It just doesn't make sense. Why, well, there, you know, one of the things I want to find out is why they're so damn afraid of this Three of Swords. They're scared to death of it. And it's scaring them back in their hidey hole, but they don't like the hidey hole. So that, that creates a massive amount of disappointment because the soul is transformed. The soul's ready to go. It's excited. It's like, it's like the kids are excited to go to Disneyland and, and we're just about to leave. They got their little knapsacks on. They're ready to go. And then you say, we're not going. Imagine their level of disappointment, right? That's kind of what's going on here. All revved up and nowhere to go. Give me three cards and a crossing card from the bottom. What else you want to tell everybody before I go pull some wicked voodoo on this? figure out what the hell's going on. I want to know what the fuck this is. This tower with this hierophant and ten of pentacles. Mm. Six of pentacles. Seven of wands. The fool. And there's a seven of cups again. We got both the fool and the seven of cups here. Seven of cups and the fool. Both of those from your fine, my, from my extra pullout on your final outcome. Um, this person is convinced that they're making the wrong choice but they're going to do it anyway and might likely come towards you. That's why it's confusing. Even the reading is confusing. Listen to what I just said. They're convinced. I'm just paraphrasing the energy here. And it's paired with these two cards off of the Nine of Pentacles. Okay? In your final outcome. It all blends together. They're convinced that they're making the wrong decision, but they're going to do it anyway. Imagine how confusing that, com that communication is going to be from this person. If I were you, because your energy is in part always attached to this. This is how you reflect. And, you, and they're certainly intimidated by you. They feel your higher vibration. I would, if I were you, hope that if this is your person, that they do not come towards you during this new moon energy. Because I can't imagine, I mean, unless you're looking for some kind of just a, a good laugh in your life, some kind of comedy routine, I, this is, I, I'm convinced I'm doing the wrong thing, but I'm going to go talk to somebody that I have extremely deep feelings for that I think it would lead to a proper Ten of Pentacles. You know, uh, it, it just, this, it, it, it confuses the soul energy, which is, again, that inner free spirit that's always been there in this person that they've kept locked up, that you, by having a soul recognition with them, kind of bent the cage bars a little bit and it could squeeze out. That inner free spirit is loose. And it wants love. It wants something else. It wants the pie in the sky. It wants something better than this shit little apartment here. Okay? And, and, and it's, it's, it, they get themselves all up to the stage of doing it. 
and then for some reason it feedback loops on itself. There's some sort of snapping point that happens here where they make a decision. But you see, we got the two of pentacles right there, more confusion, and there's your snapping point. Exactly what I just said, the knight of wands. It's a brave, impulsive action. This person here, my party girl's big sister, should have stopped going to parties a long time ago, a little long in the tooth for this kind of party, right? Always, always does that. This energy here is, is when paired with the energies around here, about a decision, see the color match here on these two, about a decision, just will do, well, I know I shouldn't do it, but I'm going to do it anyway, right, like that, mm. party, yeah, yeah, maybe, it's, it is very much a have cake and eat it too. It's very much a confusing conversation. There is a potential for it. I, if, I, if it were me, I would hope it wouldn't happen under this energy. Okay? Uh, because somebody, it, it's, we we'll use the phrase wishy-washy. They're a little bit on that. They're a little bit self sabotage -y. Yet, at the same time, they may actually, because the free spirit aspect of their soul is, is awake, they may actually really open up to you. Sort of like the way this person would if they were really drunk at a party. Open up, and whatever. You will get some truth here. But it's, it's buried under a whole lot of head scratching for sure. Let's find out what's going on with this. I'll, I'm going to pull a bunch of little side reads in the extended. If you want it, it's there for you. All right. But this is pretty much what's going on with the incoming energy in this. I'm curious to open the extended and pull on you. And see what's going on with you. Because I'd, I'd be willing to bet it's the exact opposite. I think you might be changing your order. And it might be, well, you know, enough of this kind of a thing. It's possible. I don't know. Uh, we, and we'll see what's coming towards you as well. Because, again, it's a very action-fiery new moon. Which seems strange to say, but it is. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. Uh, I did my best. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. Good luck.